In Brevard County, a man accidentally shoots himself in his car near an elementary school. Fox 35's Kelsey Cairns is joining us live in Brevard County tonight. So Kelsey, investigators say this man was picking up his grandkids from school. Yeah, this story really breaks your heart on a Friday evening. Now, deputies say, thankfully, no one else was hurt. But you can only imagine how parents felt as they were picking up their kids this afternoon from Challenger Elementary School in the midst of an active death investigation. That's very terrible. Golly, I have grandchildren. I have nine. I'm so sorry for whoever's family member that was lost. Parents picking up kids and people who live in the area shocked to see flashing lights and crime scene tape steps away from Challenger Elementary. This isn't anything normal for us at all. Normally quiet over here, and I mean, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything obviously that meant to happen. Investigators with the Brevard County Sheriff's Office snapping photos and gathering any evidence they could after calls came in Friday afternoon regarding this shooting. Deputies say only one person was shot and pronounced dead on scene. Ruled accidental, deputies are remaining tight-lipped when it comes to details, but other people were inside the SUV at the time that the firearm went off. The school placed briefly on lockdown out of an abundance of caution. While the shooting itself didn't happen on school property and only one person was hurt, crime expert and former Orlando police chief Orlando Rolone says the incident itself brings about the importance of concealed gun safety. These individuals may not be very familiar with the weapon and therefore sometimes it may cause situations where an accident can occur. He says owning a weapon is a responsibility. You must know how to use it and how to store it. Florida law says even if you do not have a gun permit, you can keep your firearm in your car if it is securely encased. My personal recommendation to individuals was not to have to be in possession of a firearm to be in a vehicle. Now, deputies have not yet released the name of the man who was killed today. As soon as we get that information, you know, right here on Fox 35. Now, they're also asking if you have any information, please come forward. Live in Brevard County tonight, I'm Kelsey Cairns, Fox 35 News. Kelsey, thank you.